Hey guys, it's me again with this book, My Naughty Little Sister, written by Dorothy Edwards. You definitely know this book. I have read chapter one, two, three, and four, and now it's time for me to read chapter five and six. So let's discover about this naughty little sister. Have you remember the last chapter four about the naughty little sister have a bottle tree that now become an enormous tree, an enormous tree, a really big tree. You know, here's the picture of that tree. You still remember? Of course you do. And now, chapter five, the wiggly tooth. Ooh, what is it about? When I read this title, I think that. The little sister, the naughty little sister, is starting to lose her teeth, lose her teeth. So let's begin, because this naughty little sister is only four years old, so she didn't know why her tooth is falling. Chapter five: The Wiggly Tooth. When I was a little girl, and my naughty little sister was a very little girl. We used to have an apple tree in our garden, and sometimes my naughty little sister used to pick the apples and eat them. It was a very easy thing to do because the branches were so low. So my mother told us we were not to pick the apples. My mother said it is naughty to pick the apples when they are growing upon the trees because we want them to go on growing until they are ripe and rosy. And then we shall pick them and put them quite away for the winter time. If you want an apple, my mother said, you must pick up a windfall and bring it to me, and I will wash it for you. You know what is a windfall is, so let's find out on this one. As you know, the windfall are apples that fall off. The tree onto the grass. So one day, my little sister looked under the tree and found a nice big windfall on the grass, and she took it in for my mother to wash. When my mother had washed the apple and cut out the specky bit where the little maggot had gone to live, my little sister sat down on the step to eat her apple. She opened her mouth very wide, just like this. Very wide because it was such a big apple, and she took a big bite too. And what do you think happened? She felt a funny cracking sort of feeling in her mouth. My naughty little sister was so surprised that she nearly tumbled off the step when she felt a funny cracky feeling in her mouth. And she put in her finger to see what the crackiness was, and she found that one of her nice little teeth. Was leaves, so my naughty little sister ran indoors to my mother, and she said, "Oh dear, my tooth is gone all loose and wiggly. What shall I do?" In a wailly whiny voice, because the first she didn't like it very much, but my mother said, "There's nothing to worry about, my life, my little child." All your nice little baby teeth will come out one by one to make room for your big grown-up teeth. Have a look, have a look," said my naughty little sister. So my mother had a look, and then she said, "It's just as I thought. There's a new little tooth peeping through already." So after that, my little sister had a loose teeth, and she used to wiggle it all the time. She wiggled it with her finger. She. Her finger into her mouth and wiggled the teeth. She used to wiggle it so much that the teeth got looser and looser. When a nice victory came, my naughty little sister showed him the tooth, and she showed the milkman and the window cleaner man. And sometimes she used to climb up to the mirror and wiggle it hard, really hard, to show herself because she thought that her loose teeth was a very special thing to have. Because she didn't know she was only four years old. After a while, my mother said, "Your tooth is so very loose. You had better let me take it out for you." But my naughty little sister didn't want to lose her lovely tooth because she liked wiggling it so much, and she wouldn't let my mother take it out at all. Then my mother said, "Well, pull it out yourself then," and my silly little sister said. No, I like it like this. 
The next time the window cleaner man came, he said, isn't that juicy pack out yet? And my naughty little sister said, no, it's still here. And she opened her mouth very wide to show the window cleaner man that it was still there. The window cleaner man said, why don't you pull it out? It's hanging on a threadle. It is indeed. My naughty little sister told them that she liked to have it to wiggle and to show people around. So the window cleaner man said, you better take it to show the dentist. My naughty little sister said, why should she take it to the dentist? Hmm? Because she hadn't heard much about dentists and the window cleaner man who knew all about doctors and dentists and about how the sun moves and how pumpkins grow, told my naughty little sister all about dentists and how they looked after people's teeth for them and made teeth for growing up people who hadn't any of their own. The window cleaner man told my naughty little sister that his teeth were dentist teeth and they were much prettier than his old ones. And my naughty little sister was very interested. And she said she would like the dentist to see her wiggly tooth. So the next time my mother said, what about that tooth now? My naughty little sister said, I want to go to the dentist myself. My mother said, goodness me, surely it's loose enough for you to pull up yourself now. But my naughty little sister started to cry. I want to go to the dentist. I want to go. I do. In a miserable voice like that. Yeah. So my mother said, very well then, I want the dentist to see your teeth anyway, so we shall go as soon as he can see you. Well now, the dentist was a very nice man. He said he thought he'd really better see my naughty little sister too right away. When my mother and my little sister arrived at the dentist, they had to wait in the waiting room with a lot of other people. My naughty little sister told all these other people about her wiggly tooth. And she showed it to them, and they all said what a lucky child she was to have such a wiggly tooth. Well, it was my naughty little sister's turn to see the dentist. She was very pleased herself. She sat on his big chair and let him have a good look. The dentist said, It's a very nice tooth, old lady. I'm sorry, you don't want it taken out. I want it to wiggly with said my silly little sister. Then my little sister asked all about making teeth and everything, and the dentist told her very nicely, it's a pity you don't want to part with that tooth though, he said, because I should just like a tooth like that for my collection. I collect really nice teeth, the dentist said. My naughty little sister thought and thought, and she couldn't help seeing how very nice it would be to have a tooth in a real collection. So, do you know what she did? She put her hand up to her mouth as quick as quick. And then she said, Here you are. Right in the middle of her hand was a little tooth. She pulled it all out all her very self. That was funny, right? Yeah, this tooth is really wiggly, so you can pull it yourself or do something with it. Wiggle it really hard so you can pull it yourself. But this naughty little sister didn't want to. When she heard about all about dentists, she go to the dentist and she pulled it herself and gave it to the dentist in his collection. So let's move on to chapter 6. The fairy doll. Hmm, interesting, right? Very dull. Do you have any like doll at home? I once had when I was four years old, but now I don't have any more. I give it to my cousins because I don't want to play with them. I'm a big girl now, you know. The fairy doll, chapter six. When I was a little girl, I had a fairy doll that was so beautiful that I never wanted to play with it. It had real shiny wings and a shiny crown and a fairy wand, yeah, and a sticking out dress with golden stars on it, and it shut its eyes when you laid it down and opened them when you stood it up and said, Mama, if you tip it forwards. It was so beautiful that I kept it in its box, 
wrapped up in a white paper in a drawer of my mother's wardrobe. I used to go and peep at it wherever I especially wanted to. Silly, right? Well, now, my naughty little sister had a doll, too. Her doll was a very poor old thing with no eyes left. Well, it sounds a little bit scary for me. And its nose rubbed off, so this doll had no nose. My naughty little sister called her doll Rosie Primrose. My little sister used my little sister used to take Rosie Primrose to bed with her. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you know why Rosie Primrose, the naughty little sister doll, have no eyes left? Like, one of her eyes is missing and her nose rubbed off? Because the little sister, the naughty little sister, plays so violently with the doll, just pull and hug very hard. Yeah. But sometime when my naughty little sister was cross, she would smack poor Rosie Primrose and throw her out of her bed. Yeah, naughty little sister played really violently with Rosie Primrose, the doll herself. Smack the rose and throw out of her bed when the naughty little sister is cross. One day, when my naughty little sister threw Rosie Primrose out of her bed, my mother said, I think I'll take that poor old doll downstairs and put her in the cupboard until you can be kind to her. But my naughty little sister said, won't be kind to her. So my mother put Rosie Primrose away in the cupboard for a rest. Now what do you think? The very next day when my mother was doing the ironing, she suddenly said, where's that naughty little girl? Where's that naughty little sister of yours? I expect she is mischief mischief she was up with some mischief because she was so quiet this is what our mother said so my mother stopped her ironing she went out into the garden to look for my little sister but she wasn't in the garden my mother looked in a shed and she wasn't in the shed or in her bedroom or in the spare room but when my mother peeped into her own bedroom there was my naughty little sister looking very cross at being caught the very doll box wasn't in the wardrobe drawer either. It was on the bed, and all the white paper was all over the floor. And there was my naughty little sister holding my fairy doll and making it say mama, 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 mama all the time. Yeah, why is she playing with my doll? She had to ask me first. My mother was very cross. She said, that's not your doll. It belongs to your big sister. If you want to play with it, you must ask your big sister. And my naughty little sister said, what do you think? I want it, my mother said, put it down on the bed. And my very naughty little sister said, no. Then my mother was angry and went to take the doll away from my naughty little sister. But that bad child ran away with my lovely fairy doll. And well, you remember what she did to poor Rosie Primrose when she wasn't cross, don't you? You remember, when she wasn't cross, she would smack Rosie Primrose and throw her out the bed. So, she did, that was, that was what she did. But she did something even more dreadful to my very doll. Yeah, she threw it out of the window. Threw it out of the window. That lovely, beautiful doll with the golden wings and the shiny crown and the sticking out dress with the golden stars on. My naughty little sister had to go straight to bed for that because she really had been terrible. My lovely fairy doll had fallen down into the garden into a muddy puddle. Yeah, into a muddy puddle. That is the most dreadful thing that in my mind. And I cried and cried, of course. Yeah, that was my lovely doll. And when my little sister saw the poor fairy doll, she cried and cried too because she wasn't really such a bad child as all that. She just threw the doll out of the window when she was being mischievous. My naughty little sister was so very sorry for we, so that we all forgive her. We forgive her for that. And my mother said that if she promised to be kind in the future, she should have Rosie Primrose back very soon. So my little sister promised hard. 
Do you know that my kind mother did? She sent the poor fairy doll to the doll's hospital, and she sent Rosie Primrose there too. And when the two dolls came back, they looked very nice indeed. My little sister was a bit sorry to see Rosie Primrose, because Rosie Primrose had a new nice face and some curly hair. Some curly hair. This is straight hair, not curly. Some curly hair. That hadn't been there for a long, long time. My little sister never quite so happy with the tidy rosy primrose until it lost all its hair again, and its new eyes fell in. But she was always kind to it after all. I was glad about my fairy doll though, because it wasn't a fairy anymore after window fall. It had a pretty new face and a nice smile with teeth showing. And it still shut its eyes when you laid it down, and it still said "mama." But the fairy cloth had all been spoiled in the muddy puddle, so my mother had made it a nice yellow dress and a bon and a bonnet and a white apron, and I called it Annabella. Annabella, yeah. And now that its clothes were not so grand, I could play with it whenever I wanted to. So really, that fairy doll windowfall wasn't so terribly dreadful after all, right? And that, thanks to my naughty little sister. Mm -hmm. So that's chapter five and chapter six. Really interesting and also really funny. So see you next time, and I will read for you chapter seven and chapter eight. Bye, guys! Thank you for watching. Bye.